Yeah. Jack, it's Pete. Hey, Jack, Pete. I thought I'd let you know that a sprayer truck came by about an hour ago. You remember what happened to us last year? Yeah, I, that's why I thought I'd let you know. <laughs> Pete, I'll call you back. Love of money. Don't they get it? Windy day like this, that stuff will be blowing all over my crops. I'll be damned if I'm going to let another acre of feed go this year. Mm -hmm. That's your lunch. You have reached the Department of Transportation. Please listen closely <laughs> right. as the options have changed. Your call is important to us. Please press 1 for highway closures. Press 2 for this license. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry. Pressing 0 is not an available option. You have reached the Department of Transportation. Hi, this is Jim. Yeah, this is Jack Green. I live on a farm over on Highway 20. Your guys came through this morning and were spraying. Now, let me tell hold you. Hold on, hold on. Look, I'm not the right guy to talk to about that. You need to talk to someone in a different department. Okay, I'll here we go. You. Now, don't put me back into that recording. Hi, this is Paul. Leave your name and number and I'll call you back. Yeah, this is Jack Green. I live on a farm over on Highway 20. Your guys came through this morning and were spraying. Let me tell you, if that sets back my crops again, I'm going to have something to say about it. Now, I expect a call back immediately. My number is 272-992-5721. Goodbye. We told them. At one time or another, we've all found ourselves in a situation where we are prompted to enter numbers or speak to a recording when all we really wanted to do was talk to someone who could help resolve an issue or answer some questions. 